even and odd numbers. Okay, what about even and odd numbers? For example, uh, you look at the example given here. Given a series of numbers, 7, 12, 17, 22, 27, dot, 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 until 67. Identify and start the pattern of the sequence of odd numbers. Okay, so how are we going to identify and start the pattern of the sequence for odd numbers? So you know what is an odd number or not? Can you tell me what are the odd numbers you start with? Odd numbers. Anyone? One. Okay, one. one three, three. Five. Very good, Madiha. Five. After that? Seven. Seven and so on. Okay, those are odd numbers. What about even numbers? Two, four, six. Yes, very good, Anis. Even number, example, two, four, six, at ten, and so on. Two by two, uh, the number at home. So, if you are given a series of numbers like this, when they ask you to identify and set the pattern, so from this list of numbers, you have to come up with the full list first. Okay, meaning that you have to in, input over here. What are the number after 27? So, first of all, you see 7 and 12. How much is the difference here? How much is the difference? 5. 5, right. So, we plus 5 to get 12. We plus 5 to get 17. Plus 5 to get 22. All correct, right? So, what is the number after 27? 32. Correct. 32 plus 5 equal to? 32 plus 5. Yes, 37. So we list up everything, then you will have a list of number like this. You see, after 27, that will be 32, 37. You plus 5, it becomes 42, 47, 52, 57, 62, until 67. Okay, this one, 67. So now, we can identify the pattern for the sequence of odd number already. Odd number meaning that you are going to choose the number, the odd number from this list over here. Okay, what are the odd number from this list? Seven. Mm, seven. Okay, I'm going to call you. Huh? Let's see who is here. Jennifer, what is the next odd number? Jennifer, what is the next odd number? 12. 12? 12 is not an odd number. 12 is an even number. You see, after 10, 12. Here, it's a number that is add up, adding up 2 by 2. 12 plus 2, 14 and so on. Yeah, 17. 17 is an odd number. Naifa, what is the next one? Yes, fair right, Naifa. 27. What about uh, the next one? Aswin, are you here? 37. 27 already. What is the next one? 37. Oh, 37. Thank you very much. And we just continue. You see, all the 7, 7, 7 here are the odd numbers. So we will have a list like this. 7, 17, 27, 37, 47, 57, and 67. Okay, now we need to set the pattern. Set the pattern. So we need to find out how is the pattern look like. So what is the difference in between 7 and 17? Oh, 10. 10, right. So we add 10 for each of the number over here. Then you get the answer for the next one. Okay, 27 plus 10, we get 37. 37 plus 10, we get 47 and so on. So, how do you describe the pattern of the sequence of this odd number over here? The odd number is... Let's start with the word, the odd number. Eh? The odd number... How? Are uh, odd 10. Are uh, odd 10 means deeper all like here. You get it. How do you get it? Uh, of 10 by adding how much? 10. Very good. Adding 10 to, remember how to describe it? To the? Previous number. Yes, previous number. Okay, previous number.
So the most important, you know how to describe this part by adding 10 to the previous number. You have learned all of this. Multiply how much to the previous number, you divide how much with the previous number and so on. So you have learned this in the previous lesson, you got to apply this. Okay, now we are going to, uh, this the first part is done. Huh? We are entering the second part, the even number. So from this list, you are going to identify the even number. So the even number, since you have circled all the odd number, meaning say the one that is uncircled over here, that is not circled here, huh? is the even numbers, which is 12, 22, 32, and so on. Okay, we look at the next slide regarding the even number. So this is the list. 12, 22, 32, 42, 52, and 62. Okay, to describe the pattern again, we need to find out how is the pattern look like. So what do we do? What is the difference in between 22 and 12 here? 10, right? Uh, so each of these will plus 10. The next one also plus 10, right? Yes. Yes. So how do we describe the pattern for the even number? The... Even number. Even number is of 10. Okay, the even, even numbers, numbers yeah, even are number. of 10 by adding 10. Yes, to the previous number. Okay, let's try to write faster. Okay, so that's all for this even and odd number here. Okay, we look at the next one now. Huh? Today, you are going to learn another two things. That is the Pascal triangle and also the Fibonacci number. Let's look at the Pascal's triangle. Okay, remember the word uh, Pascal. Okay, this is how it looks like. The diagram shows the Pascal triangle. Based on the triangle, the number in the row can be determined by adding the number in the previous row. What does it mean? It's like this. Huh? You are going to start with 1, 1, 1 over here. Okay, and then the first, uh, the, the beginning over here will always start with 1 and the ending also end with 1. Okay, then these two will be the 1. So the middle part over here, it will be the addition of these two number on top. Okay, here 1 plus 1, we get the 2. And then the 1 plus 2 here, we get the 3 to represent this. This part also, 2 plus 1, we get the 3. Okay. In the next row here, you see 1 plus 3 becomes 4. This part, 3 plus 1 becomes 4. It's the same. And in the middle, it will be 3 plus 3 equal to 6. So, anyone can tell me what do I write for this? 1. Very good. This is one. a 1. And the last one here? 1. one. Yes, it's one. a 1. Okay. Now, we are going to try to figure out how much is the answer over here. Ahmad, can you tell me how much is the answer here? 5. Yes, very good. It's 1 plus 4. That's how we get a 5. And next person, Dalisha, are you here? Dalisha, not here. Alisha, then. Alisha, I see you already. Alisha, do you know how to get this one? 10. 10, very good. 4 plus 6 equal to 10. And next person... Uh, Michelle, what is this? 10. Yes, it's also a 10 here. And then, Daya, are you here? Sharifa? No? Tiffany? 5. Yes, very good, 5. So see, you all can fill in the number here already. It's the addition of the number on top, the two numbers on top. Okay, we look at the next one here. So, for example, when they ask you to complete the Pascal triangle, okay, you see the beginning is always start with this three, one, one, one. Okay, and the first, uh, the first number always start with one, and the end of the number always end with one. So I'm going to fill this in. That's the easiest part. Easiest part now. We fill it in first. Okay, now what is the number here? Irin. Irin, what is the number that I supposed to fill here for this box? Irin, not here. Anis? Pardon? Four. Yes, very good. The next one, Kathleen? 
six. Very good. Next one, Madiha. Madiha. Not here, is it? Uh, Hana. Four. Okay, four. Oh, what happened to you, Madiha? Okay, Madiha, if that is the case, you give me the answer for this one. Your mom called. Five. Yes, very good. Thank you. Okay, next person. Ismahani, are you here? Yes. What is this? This one? Seven. It's the addition of four and six. So you get this. So, ten. Yes, correct. Okay, next person. Karunisa, what about the next box? After ten, this one? What is this? Karunisa? Not here. Shamina? Shamina? Also no reply. Shazira then? Ten. Yes, correct. Next person, you get ready, yeah, everyone. Timothy is here already? Already. Okay, how much is this, Timothy? Five. Five, correct. Very good. Next person, I just move on to see whether they are here. Avang Harris? Camilla? This one? Not here, Dalisha? Six, very good, Dalisha. Next person, Dayang Masha. Again? Ten. The addition of five and ten is what here? Fifteen. Yes, it's supposed to be fifteen. Okay, next person, Ivanisa. This is supposed to be 10 plus 10. You get this? 20. Yes, correct. Okay, next one. Is Jaden here? Jennifer, this one? 15. Correct, 15. And the last one, Magdalene? Magdalene, not here. Michelle? 6. Yes, correct. So, do you still have any problem filling in the number here? No. 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 Okay, no. so this is called what again? The Pascal's triangle. Very good. This is the Pascal's triangle. Okay, remember Pascal triangles, the number that you get is the addition of the top of the two number above. Okay, one plus one becomes two. So, since you know the Pascal triangle already, we move on. This is the do you know part so you can see this is formed up from using circle okay this is another triangle it called it, it is called as yang hui triangle okay pascal triangle was known as yang hui triangle by the chinese and is illustrated using magic squares and magic circles okay so this is a different one from the pascal triangle that we have this version here so let's move on okay. from the triangle that we have just now the previous one uh, various number series and certain patterns can be observed so this is the pascal triangle we can see the method they take out this part over here so the sequence that we can form up from here it becomes one two three four so that is the sequence the pattern is add one to the previous number second method the method two so instead of taking this first row here, they take the next one. So it will be 1, 3, 6, and so on. So the pattern is at 2, this one, huh? 1 plus 2 becomes 3. 3, 3 plus 3 becomes 6, and 4. So can you guess what is the next number after 6? Is a 10. Yes, very good. Huh? Because this one, plus 2... This one plus three, 
this one plus 4 that's why you get a 10 and then this one will be adding 5 and so on okay that is how patterns are formed okay so this one is for the pascal triangle huh? okay the meaning of a pattern pattern of a set of number is a sequence of numbers that are arranged according to a rule so this part is about pattern of a set of number previously we learned the meaning of pattern only it is a repetition of number based on certain rule right so now when it comes to pattern of a set of number it is a sequence of number that are arranged according to a rule okay they just add on the nila now things mark so this part you try to figure out here for example 1 times 1 is 1 11 times 11 is 1 to 1 triple one times triple one over here we get one two three two one and so on so when they ask you to determine the value of the next two terms meaning the next two terms over here okay you try to figure out this number here what will it be for the next one one two three four five six five four three two one yes very good because you notice the pattern already so this will be one two three four five stop at six Go back to so 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And so on for the next one. That will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 7. And then go back again, become 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So you can think of this already. That's good. Let's move on. Another thing smarts over here. Start the next two term. So you try to figure out this one on your own. We try to do the first one here. 3, at 15 24 35 what do you think will be the next number 40 40 why 40 the, you have to add 5 okay the not ten is adding 5 okay if you see this is the adding 5 3 plus 5 is add 8 plus 5 is it 15 no. no right so this is adding how much seven isn't it what about this plus nine right yeah. this one plus yes. 11 so we need to plus how much now Four. 5, 5, 13. 13 is the correct one. You see? 5, 7, 9. This one, uh, 5, 7, 9. These are all the sequence of the odd number. After 9 is 11. After 11 is 13. So how much is 35 plus 13? 48. Ah, very good. That's the next one. What about the next one after 48? How much do we have to add on? 15. Yes, 15. 15. So what is the next number? 53. 50? 60. 63, right? Okay, that is how you determine the two terms. Huh? So the rest of the sequence of number here, 2, 3, and 4, you go and try out on your own. Huh? So I have to move on. After this Pascal triangle, so we need to go to the next one. That will be the Fibonacci number. Okay, remember the word uh, Fibonacci, 2C over here, Fibonacci numbers. So this is interesting, what is a Fibonacci number, you see? It is a pattern of numbers in sequence that start with 0, 1, 1. Okay, and the next number, the how do we obtain the next number is the addition of the two number before. So this one, for example, number 1, is the addition of 1 and 0, we get 1. 1 plus 1, we get 2. 2 plus 1, we get 3. 3 plus 1, eh, sorry, 3 plus 2, we get 5. 5 plus 3, we get 8. And so on. Okay, so i show you another figure here. So remember, uh, Fibonacci number, the sequence starts with 0, 1, 1. And the next term is obtained by adding the previous two terms. So this is the figure showing how do we get the uh, the next term. La. For example, uh, 5 here. 5 is equal to 2 plus 3. This is how they show you 2 plus 3 is from here. Okay, if you know how to read. 
like it's just like the explanation that I have give, told you just now. Okay, let's see. So before I move on to this gray over here, we try to practice the Fibonacci number. Remember Fibonacci number start with what? Zero, one. Ah, very good. Zero, one, one. one. So, can you tell me what is the next number? Two. Mm, one plus one, two. The next one? Three. Three, three. three after that? Five. Five, Five. Five. after that? Eight. 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 Very good. Next one? Thirty. Yes, correct. Next one? Twenty-one. Very good. One more. 34. 34. 13 plus 21. 34. Okay. And so on. Very good. You can come up with a list of Fibonacci number already. Okay. Now, this part over here. How will you form more Fibonacci square? This is like this. It starts with 1, 1. So 1 means 1 box over here times 1 box. 1 times 1, you get 1. And then when it comes to the next number, 2 meaning that 2 boxes times 2 boxes. So this is a 2. The next number is 3, so 3 times 3. The next one, 5. So we will get 5 times 5. So after number 5 is 8. So to get the correct uh, area there, you are going to choose this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we are going to draw the square here on the right. Now, the next number is 13. What do you think? Which part am I going to choose to draw the square? Left, right, top, bottom. Right. If you choose the one on the right here, that would be add right. Add cannot form up number 13. So the best bottom. way... Is, yes, very good. You choose the bottom because this is 8 already. 8 plus 5 is 13. So most probably, we are going to carry on our drawing down here at the bottom to get a 13 times 13 square. Or on top also can because 8 plus 2 plus 3, we also can get the number 13. So you either draw it on top here or at the bottom and then just continue with 21 34 you can try this out yourself okay so this is just another something like game for you huh? now look at example 5 complete the number sequence below so this one you have to observe yourself huh? 0 1 1 ah, when it comes to 0 1 1 you, you have to come to your mind already what is this list 0 1 1 Fibonacci numbers. Very good. Remember, when it comes to 0, 1, 1, you relate it to Fibonacci number right away. Okay, so after number 1, what is the next number here? 2. two. two. After that? 3. three. three. Continue? 5. Five. Five. Very good. So we get at 13. The next one? 21. Mm, finish filling in already. Okay, now we look at this number here. This number 1, number 3, and then suddenly it moved to 11. So if you think of the difference, difference means you add 2. If I add 2 again, it becomes 5. 5 plus 2 becomes 7. 7 plus 2, that's not 11. So how do we solve this kind of question? Subtract so one. Sequence. Okay, we cannot use subtract because subtract the number for sure becomes smaller. This number is increasing. You cannot subtract, right? So here, you have to relate it to the uh, pattern of the Fibonacci number. This is Fibonacci number, but this one is not. So what do we do when it comes to Fibonacci number? Remember the rule of Fibonacci number? The rule is adding the two number before, right? We get this, right? So you try to figure out whether we can add these two numbers to get the next one. 3 plus 1 becomes? 4. Correct. 4, four plus 3 becomes? 7. 7 plus 4. Does it become 11? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is using the pattern of the Fibonacci number, huh? the rules. So 1 plus 3, this is a 4. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 4, we get 11. 
So we have completed this. Understand? Yes, welcome. Yes. Okay, yes. do you have any questions? No. no question. Huh? Okay, I think we are at the end of our lesson here. So look at the information given. Patterns are lists of numbers or objects arranged following a rule or design. A pattern in a list of numbers is obtained from addition, subtraction, multiplication or division of the previous numbers. Whereas pattern in objects is obtained by observing the arrangements of the previous object. 